subtract that from the row above. So this furthest entry on the left should cancel out, otherwise you messed up. And then this is minus 4x squared minus 4x. We can bring down the plus 0, sure, why not? Okay, then you repeat the process again. Just look at negative 4x squared and x squared. What do you multiply this by to make it negative 4x squared? Why negative 4? Then that distributes to the divisor and you write the result underneath. So this will be negative 4x squared minus 16x minus 16. Good? Then we subtract that from the row above. This should cancel. Negative 4, be careful, plus 16 is 12x, and then this is positive 16 now. Now this is my remainder. How do I know that? Because this is degree 1, and my divisor is degree 2. It's higher, so I can't divide it into something of lower degree, so we are done. So now how would you rewrite your integral? Well, you would write it as follows. So you have... Your quotient, which is sitting up top right here, minding its business, x minus 4, plus the remainder right there, 12x plus 16, over x squared plus 4x plus 4 dx. Good? Okay, perfect. Now, 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 now. What would you do? You could do partial fraction decomposition for the remainder here. I'm going to show you how you can kind of manipulate it to avoid partial fraction decomposition. Not that it's bad to do partial fraction decomposition. It's just sometimes tedious and repetitive. So sometimes you might want to spice things up or do things more efficiently. So let me show you what you could do. Okay. Let me rewrite things as follows. So we've got x minus 4 plus, let me actually, that'll be its own little integral. How about that? Plus x squared plus 4x plus 4. Hopefully you recognize this is x plus 2 quantity squared, right? Okay, so what I like to do is go like this. You have 12x plus 16 over x plus 2 quantity squared